Welcome to this 510K tutorial, in which we are going to have an overview of Discombobulator Live 10 features. Discombobulator Live 10 is a unique sequencer designed by Alex Kidd based on evolving Euclidean rhythms. It allows you to create slightly offbeat rhythms and African-influenced grooves. You can create these rhythms by either writing the sequence through the plugin's dedicated controls, or using the individual or global randomization features. The Trig Sequencer line is linked to your session tempo. Changing the clock division below will define the speed of each increment. The frequency of these triggers within each step or increment is controlled via trigs per bar. These trigs are finally controlled using the divisions per bar, which quantizes the sequence being generated, creating each step's unique syncopation. The order and sequence length can be set here on the top left. Length can vary from 1 to 8 steps, and the play mode can be forward, backward, bidirectional, or random. The trig reset will replace all values based on the value programmed here, and random will randomize all trig values. As you can see, the note sequencer in blue is being triggered based on our settings above. The note sequencer can also be controlled in the same way as the trig sequencer, by setting the direction and amount of steps, with the addition of a velocity setting, useful in mapping for modulation. You'll notice at this point clicking random will not work. You first have to define your scale following these steps. Enable MIDI through. This way you can hear your desired notes being played. Decide on your notes and set the amount here. Pressing Learn activates MIDI recording, which will record the MIDI input until the plugin has received the number of notes determined by the Set Notes Amount setting. The amount of notes required to complete the scale is displayed below. When it reaches zero, the pitch line will be automatically randomized. As with the Trig Reset, Pitch Reset will replace all pitch values with the value programmed below. At the top right of the plugin, you can switch the plugin off and on in real time. When off, the button blinks and the sequencer is still running, but doesn't output any notes. To perform a full reset or randomization, press the corresponding button, top right. Last but not least, in this update, all parameters are mapped to Ableton's Push 2.